And as we celebrate her life today, we are often reminded that death is sure and that as we celebrate her today, we will listen, we will hear a part of her life story while at the same time we have the opportunity to examine our own life. So today I welcome you here as we worship together and give God thanks for blessing us with Advira Stewart. We will now have our opening prayer by Bishop Ashton. Thank you, dear brother. All eyes close. Let us lift our hearts towards the Lord in prayer. Eternal God, you are the everlasting Father. You are the Prince of Peace. You are the conqueror of death. You are the friend of sinners. We give you thanks today that we are still here upon this earth where we can offer our praise and make supplication unto you. Father, we thank you for this blessed day that you have made and you tell us we must rejoice and be glad in it. Father, we give you thanks for every moment of our lives. We thank you for the breath of life that you have put into us. Father, we thank you today as we mourn the last of our dear beloved sister, whom thou hast called from time and to eternity. Father, help us to remember Calvary Cross today. Help us as we gathered here, Lord, not to put our trust in man, but put our trust in you who the true and the living God. A God who always stands ready to save and to receive us. Bless us, Father, as we go forth with this service here today, that some heart may cry out, I am weary, I am weary. I now about to surrender my life unto God. Bless us and keep us. Hear our prayer. Let our cry come and be fold even into your ears. As I ask this blessing with thanksgiving in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 And amen. Praise God. Thank you. I cry, Father.
man. It's a touch of faith this evening. Kind of faith, it's the only reason. Yes, hallelujah. By touching the garment, hallelujah. we connect with Jesus. Hallelujah. And the blood make us whole. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. That woman with the issue of blood. Hallelujah. A new. That I may love what thou dost love. And do what thou wouldst do. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's a congregation of him. I'm expecting you to stand. And by the way, though. We are not here to kill ourselves. We are not here to kill the service and the praise to God. Amen. We are here to shout hallelujah to the Lord. Yes. See, it might be some of us, we don't know. It might be somebody last moment in a church. Let us give God praise this evening. The dead is dead. I know we are sad. But it's time for us just to give God praise for all. Hallelujah. Please stand with me. Please stand with me and let us sing. Return me 
Reading from verse 51 to 58. And it will be read to us by Lavon Michael, her daughter. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Pleasant well, good afternoon to everybody. First scripture reading is taken from First Corinthians chapter 15. Yes, I know. First Corinthians chapter 15, reading from verse 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all be we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in the moment in the twinkling of an eye. At the last trump for the trump shall sound, and the dead shall raise in corruptible. And we shall be changed. And this corruptible must put on incorruption. And this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal must have Man hath put on this mortality, then shall we be brought to the power of sin. This is written, death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sin? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which is given the victory, which gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, immovable, always above in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain. Here and the, the scripture reading. Thanks be to God. Glory be to, say, glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. We all have to pass one day. We all have to pass one day. Mother have to pass. Sister have to pass. We all have to pass one day.
As we are being reminded that God is still in the saving business. And once you accept him as your Lord and Savior, after death is not the final thing. Do you hear me this evening? Praise the Lord. Praise God. You turn to your hymn sheet. As we sing this song. Ah, uh, don't worry. Ah, uh, don't language. Ah, uh, don't, uh, don't distress. Come to me. Set one and come in to be at rest. Praise God. from verse 14 to verse 18 and it will be read to us by Tamara Harry her granddaughter I must say peace and a pleasant good afternoon to each and everyone the scripture reading is taken from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 14 here, okay, begin it. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you, 
by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from the heaven with a shout by with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise. Then we shall then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Where be we ever be with the Lord? Wherefore comfort one another with these words. Here and then the scripture reading. Thanks be to God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We are now going to our tribute, and the first tribute will be a poem from Elnet Williams and Rochelle Charles, granddaughter. build a stairway and memories are lame we'd walk right up to heaven and bring you back again it broke our hearts to lose you but you did not go alone for part of us went with you the day God called you home God looked upon his garden and he found an empty place then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face he put, put his arms around you, and he lifted you to rest. God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best. Yes, he always takes the best. He knew that you were suffering. He knew you were in pain. He knew you'd never get well on this earth again. So he closed your weary eyes, and he whispered, Peace be thine. Peace be thine. Then he took you up to heaven, so gently, so kind. God looked around his garden, and he found an empty place. Then he looked down upon the earth, and he saw your precious face. He put his arms around you, and he lifted you to rest. God's garden must be beautiful, he always takes the best. Oh, God's garden must be beautiful, he always takes the best. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We'll have a song from Rachel and Jennifer Charles.
Japan. There is many to say and many to sing, but I will do it not in other name, but in Jesus' mighty name. My heart can sing when I
Praise the Lord. Praise God. That's my program. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Until then, until God call us home. We'll now hear. title the holy hills of heaven call me Oh, my. 
Given on the hills of home, keep calling me this house of flesh is but a prison, bars of bones, hold my soul, but the doors of Spirit free, I'll take my flight like the mighty glow when the hills of home start calling me. I'll take my flight like the mighty glow when the hills of home. Start calling me. I see love once over yonder. Dead tears are gone, and hearts are free. And from that long, King Jesus beckons, and the hills of God. This house of flesh is but a prison, bars of bones hold my soul. By the doors of clay, I'm gonna burst wide open when the angel set my spirit free. Waiting the Chatibile Health District to give their tribute. Good afternoon, everyone. 
Good afternoon. On behalf of the Chatibule Health District, we want to extend our deepest condolences to Miss, Mrs. Michael and Miss Charles, who have lost their mother and grandmother. We pray that God would give them peace and that they would be comforted in this time of their loss. We want to assure you that we are here, our hearts are with you, and our prayers are with you. And as the time goes by, your pain would heal. As a result, we are going to do this number for you, and we pray that you would gain strength. In the dark of the midnight, have I all in my face by the storm hells above me, and there's no hiding place mid the crash of the thunder. Precious Lord, hear my cry, keep me safe till the storm passes by. Till the storm passes over, till the thunder.
Christ sometime we can endure these storms. So the song is a reminder family that even though you are going through this storm now where you would have lost your loved one just ask God to keep you safe until the storm is over. But we all know that we will always experience death around us. It is something we cannot get accustomed to no matter how hard we try. Because one day would be this family, another day would be somebody else cry. That's why we are here to sympathize with you, to mourn with you, to sing joy and praises to God for the life of your loved one today. And we're going to open the floor for tribute. Now listen to me very carefully. We know that time we have to control. If you are coming to sing, you sing. No speaking. If you come in to talk, you speak, no singing. And you only have three minutes. Now listen to me. Hello. Hello. You have three minutes based on what you're going to do. But I will signal to you when it is two minutes. Do you hear me? So, so control your two minutes because I can stop you after your two minutes. Do you hear me clearly? We have to do it right. To kick the tribute going, we're going to call Monk Moriah, Spiritual Baptist Church, and the others would follow. Praise God. If I have a wing like a dove, if I have a wing like a dove, Oh. 
Come up, come up, let's go quickly. Rock our faith is clear for me. Rock our faith is clear for me. Rock our faith is clear for me. I am getting ready for my overnight. I am ready to 
afternoon to everybody. Many times in my trials, when I've traveled so far, by nightfall, how weary I've grown. Mother's arms would slip wrong me, and gently she said, My child, we go.
good afternoon, yeah. Present good afternoon to everyone. Now this afternoon, I am glad to be here with everyone. I don't think probably nobody around here, probably some people might know me. If you know me, then you are a teacher. Because I'm a teacher and I'm from Georgetown. And um, I am here on behalf of my family. Simo is my cousin fiancé. So we journeyed from Georgetown just to celebrate the, um, the homegoing service of his mom. And from what I have seen today, I can tell you that Simo, you are in very good family and you are in very good hands. And the Simo family, I would like to tell you guys also that don't fear nothing because Simo is in good family in Georgetown also. And sometimes we, we, we try to put off things and we will say we are going to do this today and we never get to do it. I am so, I'm feeling so sad inside that I've never got to meet um, Simo's mom because I kept saying to him all the time, Simo, the next time you're going down, I'm going with you. The next time you're going, I'm going with you. And I never get to go. And this evening, I'm gonna tell you guys, if you have anything to do, don't put it off. Sure. Amen. Because when you put Amen. off, you are always sad in your heart when things happen. So if you have something to do, do it now. Amen. And from Amen. what I've been seeing and hearing about Mommy Stewart, I know that she was a very good person. Simo was very proud of his family and he will speak with his about his family with passion and pride. Yes. Especially Praise his mom. When we start talking about his mommy, that was his queen, I can tell you. Brothers, similar brothers and sisters, and all his relatives, I can tell you that he truly loves you guys. And I hope that not because mommy is gone, that you all are going to stay apart from each other. I think now is the time when everyone is supposed to oh, join yes, together. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Right. Praise so, God. on behalf of my family again, I want to give us your, our deepest condolences, and I pray that God is going to see you guys through through this storm, Praise and the Lord. everything will go well at the end. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Praise God. I am not my own. Everyone today, today I'm so happy to be here and talking about my mom. Because the week before my mom passed, I called her and when I called her, she said to me, I have something to tell you. And I said, what is it mom? What love one done to you? Tell me. <laughs> and she said to me, nothing, my daughter, nothing. But I have something to tell you. And I said, what is it, mom? What is it? And she tell me, I am not closing the door until you come. Hi. And this evening, I'm so proud. This evening, when I first do my, my swipe for my nose, <laughs> They tell me I do it too early that I was to come it Thursday. And, and I have to put it off. <laughs> and look at it, my children them fight and they get a ticket for me for the Saturday. And the done. time I reach here, the Saturday, I go to the hospital to see my mother. And I just saw she tossing her head around and with her eyes open. And when I stand to the door and I look at her, my sister said to me, take off your mask and your glasses. <laughs> and when I take off my mask and my glasses, I go wrong to her. I said, Tanti, I reach. <laughs> and she watch me and she start to cry. And when the test coming down, I say, are you noise me? She say, yes, I noise you. <laughs> and I hold her and I hug her and I say, I will love you until the day I die. <laughs> and I thank you for what you have raised in me. <laughs> and I thank you for everything you have done for me. <laughs> and my mother was trying to say something, but she couldn't speak. <laughs> she couldn't bring out the words that she had to tell me. And 
and when I dare, oh brothers and sisters, <laughs> me and my sister start to, to pray. <laughs> and I see my mother lift his two hands, lift she two hands, and she stretch them to us and we hold that hands. And he, she trying to squeeze us. <laughs> brothers and sisters, take care of your mother. Because when mother gone, <laughs> it's a pain in our hands. And this evening I could say I proud that my mother hold my hand. And I know that hand that she hold, she want to tell me thank you for what you have done for me. And this evening I know the tears, I think she dry my tears. <laughs> because I weep, I mourn. <laughs> But this evening, I don't think I have any tears. <laughs> but I thank you all for coming out this evening, in your numbers this evening. Praise God. To help us mourn for our mother, because we cannot have no more mother until when we meet on the judgment day. Sisters and brothers, take care of your mother, because mother's love is so sweet. Sisters and brothers, take care of your mother. Oh my God, when mother gone into this box, we only could cry. We only could feel the pain. But if you're not take care of me, you know, your heart will be in trouble. Because if you're not getting food for it, water for drink, clothes for wear, shoes for wear on your foot, all your conscience will be tell you. But mine is free this evening. And I know she don't bless me. Praise God. Pleasant good afternoon. From Rosa. From Zion Church. I was even in Spring for a long time, so I know this church family. Please be quiet. We make it too much noise. Family. I was even in Spring for some years, so I know Spring for So we're going to sing a song on behalf of the Bureau family. Charles family. 
and the whole family unto spring. And to all our child from our holidays now wrong, give God the praise and thanks. Oh, yes. Thank each and every one today for Auntie Elvira. And they asked me to be here, make sure I've been things to it. And I want each and every one of our family to sing with me to all the changing scenes of life. Thank you for song today. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! Thank you for your song today. To all that stand. Sing a of tears that has been shed around this time but when you listen to such lovely singing rejoicing I think 
some of the tears will dry away, although it'll take a very long time. Eleven? <laughs> yes, it'll take some time. But it is a rejoicing moment. Praise the Lord. When you have such a confidence in the Lord that your loved one who has died was with the Lord and will make it to that great beyond. So that is the most important thing in life. That if you have someone who passed away and been living for Christ, that they will be in that new Jerusalem. So he gives us blessed hope and joy to rejoice at, his, at the funeral service of our late Elvira Stewart. Praise God. According to the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 1 and 2, it says, To every season, to everything, there is a season, and a time for every purpose under the heaven. A time to born and a time to die. And I must say that Edvira Stewart, better known as Mrs. Stewart and Tanti Wawa, that most of us will call her around this place, has fulfilled what the Bible has said. Tanti Wawa was born on December the 1st, 1935, and she born to the late Enid Alexander and David Charles. She lived a full life. She was 86 years old. So you know, the amount of years according prescribed by the Bible is three scores and 10, and that is 70. And if by chance you reach more than that, count it a blessing. She was the last one remain for all of the children produced by the union of Enid and David. She attended the old Spring Village Methodist School, but did not stay long because of all the pregnancy. Tanti Wawa had, well, that, that song's very familiar to me. I said, Tanti Wawa, you could hear how it sung. Huh? And she was my great aunt. Yeah. So Tanti Wawa had 10 children. There were five boys and five girls, equal up. Eh? Four of them were for her late husband, Reverend Sinclair Stewart. And the order of her children, I'll call them, so somebody may know one of them somewhere along the line. We have over there is Juliet Marson. Over on that side, you have Wilma Samuel. She's somewhere outside, you know, because the church is so filled already. You have Eric, Jeffrey as well. Havel, right there. Loretta, that's it. Grafton, somewhere wrong as well. Samuel, well, here from for her late husband is Samuel Stewart, Seymour Stewart, Carvin Stewart, and the last, Lavon Michael. Tanti Wawa worked very hard and take care of her children. She did farming. She sell, she shall produce in the market. She even went to Clare Valley to sell. Uh-huh. Well, some people sell to you. Rosebank. And where else? Barley. And I'm glad people can testify of those things. She worked also in the early days on the Cumberland Estate. And I can remember her also working on the Belial Estate. She owned, owned pieces of land there at that time as well. And most of her friends, through her work experience, there's where she got 
most of our friend relationship. She had love to discipline her children. Her favorite way of discipline was a biting of ass. <laughs> you know, she liked to do that, and if not, she will beat you with a whip. Yeah. She never had time to ask question what went wrong. Be time you, be time you say this is the case, you have it already. And um, who had that experience? It is Elora. Elora, you had that experience, did you? Yeah. So, all of us, our mother, our grandmother, well, great and great, great, and aunt, great, great, and great again, had a quiet sense of humor and a smile that light up her face. One of her favorite saying when there was trouble was, why? <laughs> when you hear that, everyone will listen. They will go silent. She was a strong, God-fearing woman who sang often. And I don't know if you want to sing that song. One of her favorite songs was, I am not my own. Oh, that song already. Nice, thank you. Whenever, it doesn't have to be. Whenever she sang that, she touches the heart of those persons who are wrong. So, for the children, the grandchildren, great, 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 yes, all of that. <laughs> for nephews and nieces, great, 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 great again. She and our friends also, she will be sadly missed by everyone. So all of us join today and say, Elvira Stewart, Mrs. Stewart, thank you all. May you please rest in peace. May God be with you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This evening I have with me, Reverend Francis, Bishop Ashton. And um, Bishop Ashton is going to bring the word for us. But before Bishop Ashton come, while I invite him to bring the word, we will be singing the use of the hymn. And that hymn is Spirit Divine Attend Our Prayers. Spirit divine, attend our prayer. And it is so, 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 Yeah. 
the shop Ashland. the Lord. Praise God. This evening I greet each and every one in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hmm? The God who met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the king and bless him with peace. This evening is a very special occasion and also a sad evening. But even though we are sad, we must be joyful in the Lord. Because Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the light. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. So this evening, even though our hearts have been sad, let us cheer up. Because one day, we are weeping now in tears, but one day joy will come in the morning. I want to say to us this evening, the Apostle Paul used a statement and it goes like this. If I die, I die unto the Lord. Amen, church? Amen, amen. And if I live, I live unto the Lord. So whether I live or whether I die, I am of the Lord. And Job tell me, we brought nothing into this world. And it's certain we carries nothing out. But the Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away, blessed be his holy name. My topic to you this evening is, set your house in order. Church, you hear what I say? My topic is to you this evening, set your house in order. This message was sent to a very rich man. According to the book of Isaiah 38. And the man of everything in this world. He was a man who was connected with God to God. Hallelujah. But somewhere along the line, God touched him with a little sickness. And as he touched the man, the man stopped walking with God. So when our Lord looked to the line, and he saw this man stop walking with him. He said, I know something gone wrong. Yes. Hallelujah, church. Yes. Something gone wrong with that man. Yes. So he went and he called the prophet Isaiah. And he said to Isaiah, Isaiah, I'm going to send you on to King Hezekiah. But the Lord, Isaiah said to the Lord, when I go, what must I say to King Hezekiah? Lord, you know, I am a babe. And I cannot speak. But the Lord said to Isaiah, I am going to touch your lips. And I'm going to put my words into your lips. And I want you to go now to King Hezekiah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hey! I want you to go to King Hezekiah. And when you go to Hezekiah, tell him I the Lord said to tell him to set his house. Set your house in order. Otherwise you'll surely die and not live. Hallelujah, church. 
Hezekiah received the message from Isaiah. And as he received the message, I learned that he broke down in tears. He cried bitterly and he began to pray to the Lord. And as he turned his face to the middle position, there he began to pray to the Lord. He began to cry out yes to the Lord. And as Isaiah was about to leave, the Lord spoke to Isaiah said, Go back! And tell Hezekiah, I say, I have seen his tears. I have heard his prayer. And I'm going to add unto his years. Fifteen more years, man. Fifteen more years granted unto King Hezekiah. Today let us make it right. Because when we walk along the road, or even when we are in our own home, two company are always there with us. One is dead, and the other is life. The Bible tells me life and death are in our tongue. But I don't want to tell us this evening, David tell us in the Psalms 90, Lord, teach me to number. How many of us has asked God that question? How many people today ask God, Lord, teach me to number my days, let me apply my heart. My Lord. In your wisdom. Many of us go to bed last night and didn't even go down on our knees to say thank you, Jesus. You wake this morning, they didn't even say thank you, Jesus. When he reached down his hands for me, when my Savior reached down for me, when he reached to say to us this evening that is not the end church are you with me I said to us this evening death is not the end of life we still have a life to live if we believe in God and have that faith in God we will live after we have gone from time eternity. According to the book of Job, Job 7 asks a question. Are there not appointed time to man upon this earth? Are not his days like the days of an hyaline? You know, the word hyaline dear me, when someone hired you to work for them. When the evening comes, you go and you receive your wages. So we are all workers with God. Oh, yes. We are working one now with God because one day the pay master about to come. 
And when he come, he is bringing our reward with us. Oh, yeah. It him to give us. Mother Stuart gone. And she didn't receive that reward. I do she died. But at the day of judgment, God is going to bring a reward to give each and every one of us. Of what sort it will be. Whether it be good or whether it be bad. Down his hands for me. Stand and done. We took God and his. When he reached down his hands for me. When my Savior. Loved ones, I hope you get the message, you know. Yes. Set your house. Yes. Set your house in order. I don't mean the house you're living in, you know. Yes. Set your heart and get it right with God. Yes. Because when that they come, you wouldn't have an excuse. Yes. In the book of Psalms 115 and verse 17, tell me, the dead praise not the Lord. Neither any that go down into silence. When you die, you cannot praise God anymore. Now you are alive and kicking. Now is the time to get it right with God. If your heart is sad this evening, you're in the right place to get it right with God. So this evening, Job tell us, and there I'm going to remain in my grave. And I will wait until my change comes. The change will come. One bright and getting up morning. When the saints and the sinner departing right and left. Are you ready today? Are you making your part straight for God? Are you living the life for God? I see too many Christian people call themselves Christian. And they live their life in, in all shape and fashion. They live anyhow. And when they're done, they go to the church. And they stand up and they shout, oh, hallelujah. You have to let your light shine. That others may see your good works. Glorify your Father, which is in heaven. Because death has no respect and no pause. Death have no friend. Jesus tell me in Matt Corinthians 15. He said, Behold, I'm going to show you a mystery. We shall all not sleep, but you all shall be changed in a moment in a twinkling of an eye. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead in Christ will arise. This evening, Paul is encouraging us as Christians. He said, be steadfast and immovable, always abounding in the works of the Lord, for as much as we know our labor with the Lord will not be in vain. I don't want to labor in vain. I want to get my reward from God when he comes. It goes to you too. You have to look to the future because our life span is in the hands of Almighty God. Amen. This evening, my brothers and sisters, I want to encourage us all. 
Let us fight the good fight. With all our might, Christ is our strength and Christ is our right. Let us lay hold upon life and it shall be one day our joy and crown eternally. Mother Stuart is gone to a place where travelers go and never return. She now entered the spirit world and she cannot be seen until the day of resurrection. You know, I just hear some, some people that say, the mother come, come from where? This boy come from. The devil come down with one third of the angel. So the devil don't know how to trick us. So he will put one of his angels in the farm of Mother Stroud to say, Mother Stroud come. No, Mother Stroud ain't coming back here until the devil judge me. Not at all. Don't make nobody fool you. Too much a demonic spirit. Men believe in too much a demonic spirit. And these spirits of man can trade it. But when we walk with the Lord in the light of his world, children water glow, peace he set on our way. Oh, why we do it go to He abides with us still. And we all who will to us stand up. Children shall stand up. For there is no one other way to be happy in Jesus. Just one word. I want to make it short, you know, because we have to get out of the cemetery before 3 o'clock. But the only thing, listen to me, the only thing, I think this funeral service should have begun in an earlier time, around 11 o'clock. This funeral service should have done start already. But nevertheless, God is good. And He is a good God. And He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. So this evening, I am going to sing my special hymn song that I just heard him When time shall come for my living and I have to bid you adieu don't spend your money power just a road yes I go
And him that cometh unto me, I will in a wise cast out. For I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but to the will of him who sent me. And this is, and this is the Father's will, who has sent me, that of all that he had given me, I should lose nothing, but should rise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone that seeth the Son and believeth in him, they have everlasting life. And I will raise him up at the last day. In the midst of life, you are in death. Of whom do we seek for succor? But, to the, but of thee, O Lord, in whom our soul do rest in hope. After labor comes rest. After struggle, peace. After life's faithful fever, the last sleep. We are about to commit the body to the body. For as much as it has pleases Almighty God, of his great mercy, to receive unto himself the soul of our dear sister, Adviris Stout, we therefore commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, in so uncertain hope of the resurrection of the dead. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who shall change our mortal body, that it may be like unto the glorious body, according to the work, mighty walking, whereby he is able to submit, subdue all things unto him. I heard a voice from heaven saying, right, <laughs> Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord, henceforth blessed are they, said the Spirit, that they may rest from their labor and their deeds shall follow them. Go forth upon a journey from this world, O Christian soul, in the peace of him in whom thou hast believed. In the name of God the Father, in who created thee, in the name of Christ, Jesus, who suffered for thee, in the name of the Holy Spirit, you work hard. The angels and archangels. Jesus. And all the army. My mommy work hard, buddy. Buddy believe me. To me. Buddy, my mother, my mother, my mother work hard. Oh God, my mother work hard for my name. Oh Christian soul. Let us in the seed of you. All glory and thanksgiving be to you. If my mommy could have gone on, I'm not going on there now. I'm going to kill me. In thy mercy. I did not give up today and tomorrow. Jesus Christ, to take our death okay. and to suffer death upon the cross. I bless you all before I try to stand with my man up. I bless you all, my God. I bless you all, my God. man. Oh God, man. Oh 
God, me deserve a murder too.
express truth wish to express their deepest appreciation and sincere thanks for all the acts of kindness to and express of sympathy shown to them by their many friends and extended families in their time of bereavement. May the soul of the departure now rest in peace and let perfect light shine around her. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, Amen. God be with you till we meet again.
Jockey, Bani, Mr. Menaha, Mr. Pamisi, 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 Mr.